Hi there, Aquarius. Welcome to your June 2021 mid-month forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading. Love, money, career, wealth. I'll let the spirits guide us on what's coming out for this period from the 15th, 16th through the end of June. All right. And we're going to pull the overall flavor of what the reading is about, and then we'll get into the spread. A couple of different decks here. want to point out that since I am channeling messages, you never know what's going to come out of my mouth, and there may be some homework. Uh, and if one of your specific guides come in, I will point that out. A lot of different decks here, but we're going to make quick, quick work of it here for you. Okay. Oh, nice. All right. So let's talk about the overall flavor of this reading. So this would be the one of the more traditional tarots. This is about the world. The world is opening up to you. Uh, this is about following the path, following your purpose, determining what your purpose actually is. Uh, and um, so let's let's get into a little bit more detail here. All right, so with this world, this particular world card, it's about peace. It's about travel. Um, I definitely see a lot more of you traveling at the end of this period. Uh, but it also reminds us about being open-minded. I keep getting the sense that there's some something that's going to have to change this month. And, you know, Mercury retrograde, we all go through some sort of revisitation of things and and determination and so on the the canine uh, tarot this is this is about not allowing whatever the noise is to distract you all right um maybe you're dealing with relationship maybe you're dealing with money issues maybe you're dealing with both maybe you're um but it's, you know, it's a reminder during this period to, you know, find the path again. You know, we're all on a journey in this life. And once you find your purpose, that's when everything really opens up for you. Uh, and we'll get some clarification on these. And the uh, this, this, little, this little cat, this king of cups, um, you know, this is about using that warm and charming and wise self, uh, you know, in life. And, you know, it's time to, to, um, to uh, use kindness and gener generosity. That's the key to getting what you want here this month. You see the dolphins in the background all the way at the top of that card. You know, there's your fun, there's your play, there's your adventure. So you really can have that, all of that. Um, just approach it from the kindness. Approach it from generosity. It's the effort that we show people that brings us to the forefront. So let me just do a quick shuffle on the regular deck. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's pull these. Okay. So, yeah. So I see you um, moving away from conflict, moving away from that ajida, um, that heartburn that you've been dealing with for quite some time. Um, I'm getting two, two camps here from different spirits. I'm getting um, based on relationship and based on money, like I was at the beginning of this reading. Uh, and there are some opportunities here where you're going to have to take that blindfold off and make a decision uh, once again. Uh, but if you, do, if you do it with your purpose, your life path in mind, uh, it's really going to work out really well for you. Now look at that. We have the tower. So change is coming whether you want it to or not. Uh, the tower brings sudden change. Uh, the only thing that's constant in life is change. It's not death and taxes. 
Um, so embrace the change that um, is upon you. And a lot of you are internally changing. You know, your your perception is changing. So this, this kind of uh, change can be um, at the forefront here and it'd be a little bit more abrupt. Yeah, look at that. And you have... And you have the death card, which is all about ending and transformation, new beginnings. So you have a quick, you know, this this change is painless. It's kind of like a shot. And and you're opening yourself up to be transformed, the flower that opens, intoxicating all with its fragrance and beauty. Yeah. And if you've had hardships with money in the past. Spirit is saying to me, it's time that uh, you let go of that feeling of hardship, that feeling of lack. Uh, and for those of you who are in that space, uh, this is an opening for you. The hardship is over. Some of you have, have uh, possibly feel that the hardship was being stuck inside because of the pandemic. Um, that is a hardship of sorts as well. And again, that's over. You know, we are venturing out. We are moving forward. Okay, somebody's spirit is coming in and is talking about something with a, a work-related um, entrepreneurial project that you're doing. Uh, keep your focus. Keep your eye on the ball. Don't get too scattered uh, is what they're telling me. Uh, you've... Get the focus right before you start expanding the idea. Okay. Yeah. And so you have the rewards. You have, you know, the world card is about rewards in all aspects of our life. You know, making, um, some of you are tidying up the home, clean your house, somebody's spirit says. It will make you feel the energy, um, will be better for you in that. Smudge your house, uh, some, if, if you think that there's any kind of stale energy, we should do that at least once every quarter. Clean out all those that crummy energy from the disagreements, from um, people that have been in your house that may not be on the same vibrational level as you. Or, you know, it's always, you always feel so much better when you do smudge. If you don't know about smudging, you know, there's always links uh, below the video or, um, uh, go to go to Amazon and find yourself a book. <laughs> Just don't wave around a smudge stick. But uh, success in in relationship to yourself and others, peace, peace and harmony. Not as not a lot of drama here. Uh, when once once this change in you happens, yeah. See, and this is about opportunities. You know, someone's knocking on the door. The opportunity comes a knocking. And it's up to you to be ready to accept that opportunity when it comes. You know, the eight is about new offers. You know, the eight of, of rods or wands. It's about new offers. It's about positive news. Uh, good news in relationships and love matters if you're interested, but also really good news in business. You know, all these opportunities presented to you. Follow the one that give, that tickles your heart and feels gives you that purpose that you need uh, in order to stay content and fulfilled. Pfft. All right. And we have the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups, the Lotus, the creation, the doors opening, you know, all the water, flo water flowing. I know you can hear my East Coast accent. Uh, this is about gifts. This is about progress. This is about new beginnings. It also could be about pregnancy if you're looking to get pregnant, um, but it's about the fertile period, the birthing of ideas. Ideas are flowing. Creativity is flowing. You know, this is about growth in enterprise. So those side gigs are at the forefront right now. So you really got so much going for you. You know, let's see if we can pull one more. Okay. So we've got the victory card. Yeah. Take your victory lap. You are victorious. Follow your purpose. Follow your heart. Do it with kindness. And all the world is yours. Ding, ding, ding. Doors open. When you stay in earth, be energy, peace, love, and joy, bliss, charity, empathy. There's a whole list. There's a video in my 
in my thing that explains them all. Earth A is negative. You know, when we're in deliciousness, guess what happens? We attract deliciousness. When we're in the, oh my God, guess what we're attracting? Exactly. I hope you laughed at that. That's my best nanny impression. All right, guys, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the channel. I appreciate your comments and your likes. If this resonates with you, throw a comment below. If you um, enjoy the, the impression, the cards at the lay, the new lay, the different layout, just um, want to hear from you. Just say hi. And we'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your month. Take care.